in this e lecture we are going to study about the omega type of oxidation of fatty acids let us start what is omega oxidation omega oxidation is a process of fatty acid metabolism which involves the oxidation of the omega carbon instead of the beta carbon as in beta oxidation omega carbon is the carbon which is the most distant from the carboxylic group of the fatty acid the omega oxidation of fatty acid is an alternative pathway to beta oxidation in some species of animals now where does the omega oxidation occur what is the site of omega oxidation in vertebrates the enzyme for omega oxidation are located in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum of liver and kidney cells instead of mitochondria as in beta oxidation and the substrate for omega oxidation is medium to long chain fatty acids that is the fatty acids which possesses about 10 to 12 carbon atom the end product of omega oxidation is dicarboxylic acids three important enzymes which plays an important role in omega oxidation are first one is mixed function oxidase second one is alcohol dehydrogenase and the third one is aldehyde dehydrogenase now the first step which is the hydroxylation reaction of omega oxidation of fatty acid in the first step of this omega oxidation of fatty acid the enzyme mixed function oxidase add a hydroxyl group to the omega carbon this is the omega carbon which is the farthest from the carboxylic end of the fatty acid and this is the omega carbon now the hydroxyl group is added at this omega carbon by the enzyme mixed function oxidase the enzyme mixed function oxidase utilizes one oxygen atom to form the hydroxyl group at omega carbon and the other oxygen atom is utilized to oxidize nadh plus h plus in the second step of omega oxidation of fatty acid oxidation occur oxidation of hydroxylic group which is present at the omega carbon occur in this step the enzyme alcohol dehydrogenase enzyme oxidizes this hydroxyl group to an aldehyde by nad plus thus in this second step oxidation of this hydroxyl group occur and as a result the aldehyde group is formed at this omega carbon in the third step of omega oxidation of fatty acid the oxidation of aldehyde group occur to form carboxylic group and this reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme aldehyde dehydrogenase the end product of this reaction is a fatty acid that possesses carboxylic group at both of its end as a result the fatty acid possesses carboxylic group at its both the end now these this fatty acid now linked to a coenzyme a for further oxidation this fatty acid is now transported to mitochondrial matrix for beta oxidation the dicarboxylic acid now first complexed with coenzyme a coenzyme a is now attached to its both of the end for further oxidation 
Now it moves and enter the mitochondria via carnitine transport. In the mitochondria, it is processed through beta oxidation. These dicarboxylic acid in the end will, will yield smaller dicarboxylic acid such as succinic acid or adipic acid. As a result of this omega oxidation, smaller dicarboxylic acids are formed. These are succinic acid and adipic acid. Now the summary. The omega oxidation of fatty acid occur in smooth endoplasmic reticulum of liver and kidney cells. And three important enzymes which plays an important role in omega oxidation are mixed function oxidase, alcohol dehydrogenase and aldehyde dehydrogenase. These enzymes act on smaller fatty acids which possesses about 10 to 12 carbon atom. First, the mixed function oxidase enzyme adds a hydroxyl group at the omega carbon. This is the omega carbon and a hydroxyl group is attached by the enzyme mixed function oxidase. Second enzyme alcohol dehydrogenase oxidize this hydroxyl group to an aldehyde. In the third step, aldehyde dehydrogenase enzyme oxidize this aldehyde group to a carboxylic group. As a result of this reaction, the fatty acid contain carboxylic group at its both the end. Now, this fatty acid now transported to mitochondrial matrix for beta oxidation and, and the beta oxidation uh, for the beta oxidation uh, to process the coenzyme A is added to both of its end. After beta oxidation is completed the fatty acid chain is now oxidized to smaller fatty acids such as succinic acid and adipic acid. Significance of Omega Oxidation Earlier studies revealed that Omega Oxidation is a subsidiary pathway for beta oxidation of fatty acid when beta oxidation is blocked. Many studies demonstrated that the Omega Oxidation provide succinyl coenzyme A for the citric acid cycle and for gluconeogenesis under the condition of starvation and diabetes. It is observed that omega oxidation of fatty acids are related to energy metabolism in some laboratory animals such as musk shoes and Mongolian gerbils. Studies confirm that omega oxidation of fatty acid plays crucial role in the production of insect pheromones of honeybees and in the formation of bipolysters of higher plant. For further reading, I would like to suggest following books of biochemistry. First one is the bio book of biochemistry by S. N. Gupta. And the second one is Fundamental of Biochemistry by Jan and Jan. Thank you for watching.